It's time to share some truths about the First Australians, the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. They're called First Australians for a reason. They've lived on this land for thousands of years, and that's why their connection to country is so important. When the English arrived over 200 years ago, much of everything they knew changed forever, with the impact and trauma of colonisation still felt even today. Equal rights have also been an ongoing struggle. As recently as 1967, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples weren't even considered people. In the eyes of Australian government and law, they were only equal to flora and fauna. From then on, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples have been officially recognised and managed to gain some basic rights, like voting, education, health and employment. But in many ways, the damage is still deep and lasting. Today, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people on average suffer from significantly higher rates of disease, violence, incarceration and suicide, while having fewer opportunities in education and employment. But the most distressing truth is that an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander child born today can expect to live 11 years less than a non-Indigenous child. Through all these distressing facts, some things are looking up. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities are rising to the challenge, bringing together people from all across Australia who are making a difference in health, education and employment, aiming to close that gap within 25 years.